Chernobyl nuclear power station was once a symbol of great Russian pride. But others disagreed. On the 26th of April 1986, the unthinkable happened. Reactor 4 exploded with a force 20 times higher than Hiroshima and Nagasaki put together. People died horrifically. The Russians denied everything. People who spoke out became enemies of the state. And the disaster triggered the collapse of the USSR. Just a few weeks after, a young scientist was sent to investigate. Three decades later, he's back and determined to get some answers. He discovers radioactive contamination in the water source of 35 million people, threatening them with a toxic death. He visits abandoned towns that are post-apocalyptic nightmares, finds out that highly irradiated houses were buried, then left to seep their poison into the river. Then, on the 24th of February, 2022, the Russian military launched its all-out war on Ukraine. And on that very first day, they captured the Chernobyl plant and marched 170 staff away. Nothing has been heard of them since. Then Russian soldiers inexplicably dug trenches in the highly contaminated red zone, exposing themselves to unprecedented amounts of radiation. President Putin eyed up the plant as a potential weapon, whilst openly threatening nuclear war on the West. Just six weeks later, the Russians withdrew from Chernobyl, sending their irradiated troops home to die. And the same fate may await the 35 million people who live downstream. The Chernobyl power plant is a bomb that keeps ticking.